Hello, and this is exactly how to fix Verloent stuck on the loading screen. Now I will be going over a few different solutions on how to fix this. Let's get started. So the first solution, what you want to do is you want to hold down the Windows button and R at the same time. This will open up. Here you should type percent app data percent and press on enter. Now click on app data here on the buff and click on local. Now scroll down until you see Riot Games, Riot Games, and you should delete this file. Uh, no, and you should open Riot Games and then you should delete the Valorant file. Please close this down and now head over to your Valorant shortcut. Either go to Valorant right here or search Valorant in your search bar and click on open file location. Then click on open file location once again and you should be in this thing. Then go to Riot Games, go to Valorant live and here you should have these manifest files. Hold down control and click on both files and now press on delete. Close everything down and now start up Valorant and check if the problem has fixed. If the problem is not fixed, then we have the second solution. Click on your Valorant and here click on properties. Then go to compatibility and here click on run this program as an administrator. Click on apply and click on okay. Now open up Valorant and see if the issue is fixed. The next thing that we could try is to run Valorant in high priority mode. Go to your taskbar, click on right click and then click on task manager. Now open your Valorant. All right, so as you can see, my Valorant is now opened. So you should see Valorant pop up in the apps right here. Click on Valorant, uh, make the, click on this thing to drop it down and then right click on this Valorant. Click on go to details. Now you should right click this Valorant file, then go to set priority and set it on high. Click on change priority and then check if Valorant is working. Now the last thing that we could try is to reset the network settings. We can do this very easy by searching for network reset, clicking on here, and here you see network reset. This will remove and reinstall all your network adapters, your PC will be restarted, and just click on restart now. Now I hope this fixed all your problems, if it didn't please leave a comment, and I'd say thank you for watching.